In this video, we are going to look at dermatome testing of the upper extremity. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Dermatome assessment is an essential part of neurological examination when suspecting radiculopathy as changes in sensation within a specific dermatome may help you identify the pathological disc level. In case of the cervical spine, the most common causes of nerve root pathology are herniated discs, which account for about 20 to 25% of cases, and degenerative disc disease, which accounts for 70 to 75%. While herniated discs, also known as soft disc lesions, are rather seen in younger patients, degenerative disc disease or hard disc lesions primarily occur in the older population and the highest incidence for cervical nerve root pathology is found on spinal segments C5-6 and C6-7. In their systematic review from 2017, Le Meunier et al. report that a complete peripheral neurological examination when suspecting cervical radiculopathy has a sensitivity of 83% and a specificity of 28%. The positive and negative likelihood ratios were 1.15 and 0.6 respectively, which is why we attribute this assessment a rather weak clinical value, but it is still the best tool we have. To stroke the dermatomes, use a brush like the one found in the handle of most reflex hammers and stroke the dermatomal regions on both the affected and unaffected limb and ask the patient whether they feel side-by-side -side differences. Alright guys, there you have it. The best diagnostic cluster available for cervical radicular syndrome is the cluster of Wehner, which you can watch by a click on the thumbnail right next to me. Click the link in the top right corner or check the links in the video description if you want to support what we do on this channel. As always, like this video and subscribe if you haven't. This was Andreas for PhysioTutors. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.